Hello there, my name's Carlo and welcome yet again to another mega Laserdisc uh, unboxing which is very, very exciting today. Um, I've got quite a few Laserdiscs uh, in here, um, should be about eight, which is going to make for a really interesting uh, video. But before we get started, I just want to explain to you guys the um, history of how I first started collecting Laserdiscs. So it's probably mid um, 90s, uh, I used to work in a video shop, quite a few video shops uh, come to think of it. But the main video shop I used to work in, um, it was VHS back then obviously, um, one of my friends used to collect laser discs and he literally uh, got me into it. So I think I had back then about 60, 70 laser discs um, because obviously back then laser discs were a hell of a lot more expensive uh, than they are now. Um, they're more of a collector's piece now. Um, I use them for viewing um, as well as collecting because to me the quality is still fine, the quality is still decent, uh, which uh, a lot of people may disagree, but uh, I think, you know, laser discs uh, look just as good today as they did uh, back then. So it was around the time when uh, DVD um, was announced in Japan. Um, and I went to a company, of, you know, I was really sort of curious about uh, DVD and my friend that got me into Laserdisc said, listen, you need to try and find yourself a DVD player. But in the UK, no one had ever heard of what DVD was. Um, no, nobody knew what it was. Everyone was still on uh, VHS. I rarely found people that knew what Laserdisc was, even though me and my friend used to collect them uh, uh, quite uh, erratically. Um, nobody knew what they were so I ended up going on a website and I bought a DVD player uh, from Japan and I paid £4,000 for it um, and that's when DVD was not heard of in the UK nobody had heard of it so um, I do remember I had four films um, that I ended up going to a shop an import specialist shop and I think it was uh, Spawn um, it was Bad Boys, it was Scream, uh, sorry, Scream 2, and there was another film which I can't remember, and I remember paying about 70, 80 quid per disc uh, back then. So, about a year after that, DVD started coming onto the scene, they started releasing players, um, and I sort of left the laser disc era behind and went to DVD. So, that's a little bit of history uh, about that. Now, I've got a bit of a bumper pack here, and I do know um, that there's a few that I didn't want, uh, but this was an eight disc uh, pack that someone was selling on eBay, so I thought there was a few in there that really took my fancy, so I thought, why not, I'm gonna bid on it. And I, I, I made a ridiculous bid uh, of about nine quid, yeah, it was about nine pounds, and I won it, um, which to me is absolutely ridiculously cheap for what is in this box. So. Let's get cracking on the unboxing. So I'm just going to get my unboxing knife and we're going to open this up and we're going to have a look at some of the goodies in this box. Now I do know there is a few crappy ones, but for the ones that I wanted in the bundle, um, I don't mind sort of sacrificing the odd crappy Blu-ray if it's uh, sorry laser disc if it's in a pack um, and nine quid can't really go wrong so i'm gonna just open this up i don't know what to expect uh, for the first laser disc so you're gonna see it same time as me um, just put this off so we'll bend this back so it's not in the way now the seller said that some of these are in immaculate condition so they're like new so i'm just gonna bend this and i'm just gonna cut this tape off and then we're gonna have a look together what the first film is um, as I open it, so let's just bring this here. Let's just fold this somehow around here. And yeah, you can see the first one there, which is uh, Dust Till Dawn, which is absolutely fantastic. What a great film this is. Um, now, the box is a bit tatty, as you can probably see around there, but it's not a problem. Um, not a problem let's just have a look at the the disc itself which is the most important part and as you can see that disc looks pretty goddamn uh, immaculate so 
Let's get this back in the packaging and back in the box. So let's have a look. Uh, let's get this back in at the front of this. I hope you've got a good view here, guys. So this is Dust Till Dawn, a letterbox edition, which as you can see looks absolutely fantastic. So um, very nice uh, cover art there, uh, shall I say. So that is number one. So I'm just going to put that to one side. Now this one is one of the films that look pants in my eyes. It's called The Red, Red Squirrel. I have no idea what this film is. Um, it might be good, I don't know, but as you can see, it's still sealed. Um, which is a bonus. It's still got the plastic protective cover on. Um, might be a good film, might not, but with the others that are in here, um, it's not a bad deal. So let's just look at the quality of the disc. And that disc is like brand spanking new, apart from my spit. There it is. Leave a comment in the description below. Any of you guys have seen this film, let me know if I probably won't watch it. Um, you never know, I might give it a go one day if I'm bored. But still, it makes for a worthy addition to the collection. So it's a tartan, it's a tartan over the old collection for a film thing. Let's put that to one side. So this is another piece of crap that I got in a bundle. Well, no, it's not actually a room with review. That's meant to be quite a good film. Never seen it. Absolutely never seen it. But obviously being part of the collection, now I can't avoid it. Uh, let's just check the disc on that. I like to check the discs. As you can see, there's a few marks there, but there's no scratches or blemishes on it, which is fantastic. <coughs> so, yeah, a room with a view. Never seen it. Um, I have heard of it, but I've never seen it. So, might be a good film. Might be a chip flick. Don't know. So, let's just put that to one side. So here's another one, uh, which uh, I've never seen before, Secrets and Lies. I don't know what this is going to be about, guys. It was part of the bundle. Um, it's it's a Mike Lee film, so it might be pretty good. But this looks like um, a double laser disc, by the looks of it. Yeah, we've got two laser discs in here. So we've got, yep, yeah, it's a double laser disc. Looks in great condition, so I'm not going to sort of argue there with that. There's a few poo titles in here, but it might be good. You never know. So this one is a narrow margin, and this is actually a really good film. This is Gene Hackman, and I really do like this film. Um, I saw this film years ago. I thought it was a great film, and any film with Gene Hackman in is going to be really goddamn cool. So let's have a look at the disc. And again, that disc is in immaculate condition, which is a brilliant still. I'm really looking to show you the next one. The next one I just think is an absolute blinding monster film. Um, I've always loved it. I got it on VHS um, when it first came out. Um, and I just think it's an awesome film. So, let's get rid of this narrow margin. And we have the Relic, which I absolutely love this movie. Um, yeah, it is an absolutely fantastic uh, monster flick. It's very entertaining, it's got an excellent cast. Um, yeah, Tom Sizemore, Pen Penelope Ann Miller, um, brilliant film. So that was one of the reasons why I went for this bundle because of this film here as well, as well as Fast Till Dawn. So um, still looks in bloody good condition, no scratches. No marks, I'm very happy with that. So let's just put that away. Get rid of that. So there it is, the relic. See the cover art on the back, looks pretty goddamn sweet. Brilliant. So here we have, and I'm gonna cover this up so you don't see the last one. I'll give it away. Um, here we have uh, The Glimmer Man, which to me, I think, is Steven Seagal's best film he's ever done. Um, it's such a good film. Um, yeah, so this was one of the reasons I went for this set as well, because I do like, who, who don't like a bit of Steven Seagal? So let's just open this up, check the disc, 
and once again that disc is in absolutely amazing condition so very 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 happy with that so let's put this back in the cover so glim around very good film okay so the final one in this bumper pack unboxing is let's go through this let's hide it give it this box and the final one is what's just fell on the floor is bad boys which is what an excellent film this is really good film again amazing cover art back uh, and front uh, dual layer disc so it's got two sides so let's just check out the um, disc and this is a CLV version of the film which is pretty goddamn cool so that's one side that's another side so again immaculate condition so very very cool stuff indeed so let's have a little rundown once I get this back in the box if I can get it back in the box I'm putting records away I always used to hate putting records away right so let's have a rundown so we've got uh, bad boys we have uh, the glimmer man which again another great movie we have the relic which I absolutely love this film if you haven't seen this film guys check it out it's a really good monster monster flick if you like your monster flicks this is really really cool we have narrow margins uh, which is a great film we have the secrets and lies which I have never seen before in my life but it's a Mike Lee film so it should be pretty pretty good looks like more like a chick flick we have uh, run with a view maybe good I don't know never seen it uh, the red squirrel Bet there's lots of tits and fannies in this film so I might have to check this out later when she goes out and finally one of the greatest films ever made uh, Dust Till Dawn uh, Quentin Tarantino so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, laser disc mega unboxing as always guys if you have enjoyed this video a like rating would definitely definitely be appreciated and as always I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.